Okay, I went to the thrift store and Goodwill. Okay, these were new in a package. Uh, I tore the other package out. And I paid a dollar a piece for these Toggins. Sock cats or whatever you want to call them. And then I paid a dollar for this. I take it out of the cemetery since they're metal. Put it right up there. Okay, I paid 10 cents for these hoops. She only had one this time. I paid a dollar for these little flowers. Made in Pennsylvania. Let me see how to get it open. Oh, it's got a trip lots there. I'll figure it out a little bit. It's a little pair of wire cutters. And then these, I paid a dollar for this whole bag. But what's in this little bag is these things. It's got a clip and a deal around your neck. But I figured for these clips and these deals here, I thought, well, that's a, I don't know how many is in there, but probably at least a hundred of them. So they're a penny a piece. And I paid a dollar for that old bag up. Okay, I paid three dollars for this shirt. Let me just get it out of the way. Brand new shirt. And it's a, th it's a 3X. See how pretty it is? I love the colors, the fall colors. Alright. I paid a dollar for this French press. Here, I paid a dollar for this French press. It's all metal. I've got a glass one, but I thought, hmm. Now, if it, I could set it on the camp stove or the campfire or whatever, at 0.35 liters, double walled. Look like it ain't been used at all. I make. That's what that is. That was worth a dollar. Now my other find, that was all at the thrift store, I believe. Where am I? Am I at? Okay. <clears throat> For this little fan, it's battery operated and it blows pretty good. It's high. There we go. And that's high. But I thought for it. This here, I'll, my discount and everything, I got it for three dollars and something a little over three dollars. And it got the charger cord to it. And it's bottoms, it plugs in here, it's nine volts. And you can hook it up to USB, but this comes with an electric cord. And I thought that was about three dollars and a quarter, three dollars and a dime. And then in, in my camper or in my tent, I'll have a little fan. Thought that was pretty good. But let me show you my buy of the day. I'll put that up there. Down here. Now, here's my buy of the day. Mm. Mm. Now, this is a uh, coffee pot. You can see the name of it. The reason I buy these big metal coffee pots, this is a 55 cup. I use them in my, when I'm hooked up to electric. I'm going to stand up a little bit. Mm. Alright, it's got the screw down lid. This thing here ain't never had coffee in it because it'd be stained if it was. It ain't, it's brand new. So here, it might have been used once or twice, but it wasn't used much. But they make great hot water tanks. A friend of mine that lives in Texas, uh, she watches this. I, she can go to thrift stores or whatever and get her something like this. Sure, hot water tank bust, busted. And uh, 
she had to pay, was going to pay $450 to get one in. Now she takes a shower at her friend's house and uh, don't think she needs hot water for it just like I am on the road. I need hot water to wash my dishes, put my Hudson sprayer, take a shower, whatever. But I think got a bathhouse. That cost me half price, right at half price, five dollars and about a little over fifty cents. Five fifty, about five fifty-five. So five dollars and fifty-five cents for this coffee, big giant coffee cup and a coffee brick maker for my camping use. See, I set it on the side of my sink and everything else, and I got plenty of hot water. Just I can run, open this and run it right in there and pour a little cold water with it. But this is what I told her she needs to get for her camp trailer instead of paying $450 for a hot water tank. And she takes showers over at her friend's house. She lives in her yard. And uh, all she needs is hot water for uh, basically wash dishes with and maybe uh, put into something. But I thought that was for $5.50 wasn't bad. My total deal today was $14 and something or something like that. Less than 20 bucks. That's what I spent. <clears throat> and I like the solid metal stainless steel stuff. Like I said, you can't break it. Uh, of course, this one's made in China. I don't know if this is made in China or not. I don't care if it's 550. No, ain't it? 1500 watts made in the USA right there it says it right there made in the USA that cost me 550 that's what I've been doing out shopping like I said that's not a bad coffee pot <laughs> 